Hey, what's happening YouTube? This is Runner, and this is my post-fight reaction to UFC 145. Uh, just going to run from the top. Um, Wonderboy Thompson got dominated by Matt Brown. Um, I pretty much expected that, uh, unless uh, Wonderboy Thompson knocked him out uh, earlier on in the fight. Um, Mac Danzitz beats Efren Escudero. Um, Angel Angel Kwakwani, um he beat... Um, his opponent and he's most likely going to get cut because he came in overweight and he's lost his fight which means um, you're going to get cut so um, that's him losing uh, who else uh, Matt Bocek dominated his fight on the ground but took a lot of punishment uh, Mark, Matt Ho Mark Hominick um, he lost um, I'd say two rounds to one if anything but he was badly injured in the first and the second round um First and second round, he was badly injured, and um, third round, I'll, I'll probably give it to him. Um, also, um, Miguel Torres defeated first round, about three minutes and 30 seconds, something like that. He got knocked out. Um, I think he needs to consider what he wants to do, um, if he wants to keep fighting or whatever. Um, also, uh, Brennan Sharp versus Ben Rothwell. Um, ben Rothwell, I thought he was on his way to getting knocked out. And somehow he's caught uh, Brennan Sharp on the chain with a left hook. Uh, got him to the ground. Didn't really hit him with any punches on the ground. But um, Brennan Sharp was pretty much out from that first punch uh, from that left hook. But anyways, um, Ben Rothwell came in very lean. Uh, big dude, big, big dude. Um, yeah, and he, he won his fight basically. And uh, pretty much as I expected, Che Mills uh, was just lambs to the slaughter for... Um, Rory McDonald. Rory McDonald is a phenomenal fighter. Um, Chay Mills, if it had just been a stand-up fight, yeah, Chay Mills would have knocked him out completely. But it's not a stand-up fight, it's a mixed martial arts fight. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, you could see where, how he, he busted him up first round. Um, Chay Mills doesn't really have a ground game. And he's basically a striker. And I think it was just too much of a step-up in competition. Um, just lambed to the slaughter. Um, I think they should have given him a few more fights because you can't go from uh, fighting in the UK to fighting Chris Cope, who wasn't that great of a fighter, to fighting Rory McDonald, who is a phenom at 170, who they're expecting to be champion in the next few years. So, yeah, basically, Lamps of the Slaughter for Che Mills, who got bust up pretty bad. And I don't think he's called beautiful Che Mills anymore because his face looked fucked. So, anyways, uh, moving on to the main event. We had Johnny Bones Jones versus uh, Rashad Evans. Uh, first round basically was basically all, um, not all. It wasn't the whole fight wasn't exciting, but um, Jones won the first round. I'd say Evans may well he got one of the rounds somewhere, but I, I couldn't really say what it was. But uh, second round, um, John Jones landed a good few elbows, and I think that was the turning point really, uh, as the commentators were saying as well. Um, turning point was landing the elbows. He was just hand fighting with him, and then just landing some good strikes, good kicks. Uh, Rashad Evans landed a head kick at the end of the second round, I think it was, but off oh, end of the first or one or one or the other, you know what I mean? Um, but all this talk at the start of the fight, uh, Rashad Evans saying that he's trained with Jones, he's done this, he's done that, he knows him, he knows him in, inside out. Um, wasn't really an exciting fight. Um, and that's it, really. So, what can I say? Um, also, Travis Brown beat uh, Chad Griggs. Uh, I never knew how much bigger that Travis Brown was than Chad Griggs because at Strike Force, Chad Griggs looks pretty big and um, he looked tiny, but he lost via submission, I think, armbar. Um, but yeah, John, jo John Jones um, holds the title, keeps the title, so I've won my bet on that. Um, well, Pretty pleased that I had a bet on it and I won with that. So, um, yeah, who's next for John Jones? Um, I think they're trying to mould Gustafsson into that role, but I think Gustafsson needs one more fight before um, he can fight Jones, to be honest, in my opinion. Uh, maybe they should let Jones fight at two uh, heavyweight, fight, fight someone who's top five, top ten, something like that. Uh, maybe like a Czech Congo, make it let him knock him out or something like that. Um, and then maybe if Kostosan fights someone like uh, Machida, someone decent, someone half decent, 
and we'll see where they go from there. But that's it for my UFC uh, post fight reaction to 145. Johnny Bones Jones holds his title and keeps his title. Um, Wonder Boy Thompson, um, six and one now. Um, he needs to work on his round game, obviously, because uh, Matt Brown, Matt the Immortal Brown, is a very good fighter. But you can see that if someone comes from a kickboxing, straight kickboxing background or fighting background, um, it makes a hell of a difference because Matt the Immortal Brown is pretty good on the ground. He's not great, um, but good enough to beat Wonder Boy Thompson. But anyways. Um, yeah, that's it. So remember to subscribe. Uh, check out for my next blog. Uh, I didn't do one on this one because um, pff, just got other stuff on. But yeah, that's it for my UFC post reaction 145. Jones winning the title or keeping the title. Rashad Evans uh, not doing much. Didn't impress me. And we'll see where he goes from there. Maybe he goes to 185 and see what he can do at that division. But yeah, that's it. So this is Runner signing out. Peace.